I hate doing these videos, man. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back at the New York Giants post-game video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Helps out the video huge. Hit the subscribe and ring the bell, because no matter how good or bad the Giants are, I'll be here all year. I don't go anywhere. I'm always here. They've been terrible for five years. So no matter how good or bad they are, I'll be here doing videos, doing live streams, doing the games. You're live tomorrow night for a therapy session. I haven't had to do one all year. I don't get to drink this tonight, which is pretty disappointing. Cowboys absolutely punched the Giants in the mouth tonight. Punched them right in the mouth. The Cowboys absolutely dominated that game. I don't care what that final score is. They won on both sides of the line of scrimmage, and it wasn't close. On offense, they were able to move the ball at will on the ground. Cooper Rush's jersey, I don't know if he got knocked down all night. The offensive line picked up every blitz wink sent. Cooper Rush had all day to locate receivers down the field. We're lucky it wasn't worse. CeeDee Lamb dropped a wide open touchdown. Giants got some calls in that game that I thought went in their favor, and it didn't matter. And of course, as you would expect, Daniel Jones is running for his life. Our offensive line, uh, you know, couldn't block anything. Our offensive line couldn't stop a nosebleed tonight. Evan Neal, I'm not going to sit here and call the guy a bust after three games, but that is not a game he's putting on film. That is not something where you're going to go look at the tape. That was a horrible performance by Evan Neal. Constantly beaten, inside, outside, run over, full starts, holding. Not a good game for Evan Neal. Not a good game. Exposed. Demarcus Lawrence had three sacks in the game. Um, I thought Daniel Jones did about as good as he could have. I know some people will still blame the game on Daniel Jones. I don't care who you blame the game on. I'm not putting the blame on Daniel Jones. And I'm the guy that's critical of Daniel Jones. I don't know what else he could have done. Did he make some mistakes? Yes, he does that every week. We know that. But all you guys are really just screaming, you know, about Daniel Jones every single week, no matter what. You don't have to worry. He's not going to be here next year. It's just not going to happen. But he certainly doesn't have much of an opportunity when nobody blocks for him. When he is hitting his back foot on his drop and he's getting dropped, I don't know what he can do. So, you know, what, what can you do? Dallas, I would love to know what it's like for us to have. I don't care if it's Daniel Jones. I don't care if it's Eli Manning. I don't care if it's Phil Sims. I don't care if it's Bryce Young. I don't care if it's Will Levis. I don't care if it's Lamar Jackson. I didn't do a video about Lamar Jackson because the Giants aren't getting Lamar Jackson. The Baltimore is going to tag him. But I don't care who the quarterback is. I would like to see our quarterback have the type of pocket Cooper Rush did. I would love that. I don't even remember what the hell that looks like. Does Daniel Jones have some time to throw the ball? In certain spots, absolutely. Does he hold on to the ball too long sometimes? Yes. The intentional grounding that he took when we needed a field goal to make it seven points and it made it a little bit more difficult for Gano, that was a bad play by Daniel Jones. But for the most part, I don't know what else he could have done during this game. Which brings me to the wide receivers. The Giants have got the absolute most pathetic, garbage-ass wide receiver room in the NFL. It's a joke. We paid the most money for receivers in the NFL. And who the hell plays? David Sills. Right? David Sills is starting. Who? David Sills. That's right. The former quarterback of West Virginia. That is one of our starting wide receivers. He falls down at the end of the game. Deion Jones throws the interception. More to the better completion. Who knows? But... I've never seen so many wide receivers fall down in my life. Our wide receivers are always falling down. Blame the turf, blame whatever you want, but they fall down on a consistent basis. It's unbelievable. Sterling Shepard, I wish him nothing but the best. He's played his last game as a giant. The guy just could never stay healthy. Huge drop tonight. Actually fumbled once, and it was called an incompletion. We got lucky because that was an absolute fumble. And I know the throw to Sterling Shepard was a little high, and if Jones would have let him, he might have got a first down, but you got to catch the ball when it hits your hands. You're an NFL wide receiver. You got to catch the damn ball. So Shepard, you know, I loved Shep coming out of Oklahoma, but what can you do, man? Injuries, drops. He just wasn't what I thought he'd be here. 
He's played his last game as a giant. I wish him nothing but the best. I hate to see anybody go down with what looked like a torn ACL. And I'm just speculating because I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Obviously, the things haven't come back. But if you watch play, he's just jogging down the field. His knee, something gave, and he went down. He went out in the cart. Everybody's wishing him well. He's probably done. Then we get, then we get to Kadarius Tony. I don't need to say much about Kadarius Tony. Again, once again, conspicuous by his absence. You know, like I said, maybe his period's a little heavy. Maybe he had a hangnail. You know, maybe he had a little sore throat. I don't know. Kadarius Tony don't ever play. Kadarius Tony finds ways to avoid the field. That's just the way I look at it. He, he just avoids the field. So, he, you know, who the hell knows that he's ever going to play? I don't even expect the guy to play anymore. I can't imagine he'll be a giant next year at all. But the guy's not reliable whatsoever. He's had one good game in his entire career. And I don't know why anybody expects anything of that guy. I certainly don't. But that was a wasted first round pick. Um, then, of course, Gettleman wasted a lot of first round picks. So, what else is new? Like I said, you know, uh, Kenny Galladay. I, I mean, this dude, <laughs> Kenny Galladay ought to, ought to put a pair of cement shoes on and jump his ass into the Hudson River. For real. Why don't you just get get on the first thing smoking and get the hell out of New York, New Jersey. Get out of the tri-stater. Just go away. Nobody will miss you. I should be playing. I should be playing. That's a fact. You can't catch a cold in a freaking phone booth with six people that have COVID. You are COVID-19. That's what his nickname should be. He's number 19. That dude is COVID-19 because he makes me sick. I should be playing. The dude don't produce jack squat. Always drop pass here, drop pass there. $72 million for absolute zero. Nobody pisses me off more on his team than that guy. Nobody. And the sad thing is, when we signed him, I was happy. Oh, my God. I thought, oh, my God. We just got Daniel Jones' Plexico Burris. Big-bodied wide receiver, led the league in touchdowns, 1,000-yard wide receiver. Oh, my God, was that a bad take? That one aged like milk. <laughs> I hate doing these videos. I thought we'd be one and two at this point, so two and one, I'm happy with our record. But this, we had a chance in this game. We go up 13 to six, really good drive, really good third quarter for the Giants. And it's been the case with the defense all year for some reason, and not just this year. It's like every every year for, for five years, we score, we get a big score, we go down, get ahead, and the defense gives it right back, but they give it back with ease. Like no resistance. As much resistance as wet toilet paper, like nothing. Dallas just ran, ripped through us like a hot knife through butter. I just hate losing to Dallas. I hate losing to teams in the NFC East. I really can't stand it. I, I just can't. Dallas is better than we are. And you can tell because the games are still one at the line of scrimmage, and they won at the line of scrimmage all night on every play, pretty much. Completely dominant. Okay. Now, if you've made it this far, I appreciate it. But I am going to talk about some good things. I do like the head coach. I do like the front office. I do think that the New York Giants have a bright future. But we've got to get the Gettleman out of this roster. There's a lot of Gettleman. There's still the Gettleman hangover. We have no offensive line because of him. We have no wide receivers because of him. We have no, I mean, I don't know where the pass rush was. I don't really know. But the defense is is going to be okay. I mean, it's not like, you know, Dallas scored 40 points. It would be nice to have a pass rush. It was a stat that Micah Parsons has four sacks. We have three as a team. We got to get some kind of pass rush. I don't know where the hell it's going to come from. You know, Kayvon Thibodeau didn't do much of anything tonight. Aziz Ojolari, you wouldn't even know that those guys played. I'm going to give him a break because they're both injured. They're coming off injury, but they've got to step it up. Missed Leonard Williams big time tonight in the middle. 
It's a big reason Dallas is able to run the ball the way they did. But I think the defense will be okay. And again, this is a year where we're supposed to rebuilding it better. But I don't like getting pushed around. I don't like seeing him get pushed around the line of scrimmage. This wide receiving core really pisses me off. The fact that we're starting Richie James and David Sills, we have to rely on those guys. And the fact that Richie James has been our best wide receiver is ridiculous. And I'm not taking anything away from Richie James. I'm just saying the fact that you're paying Sterling Shepard all that money, Galladay $72 million, and Kadarius Tony's a first-round pick, and Richie James is our best wide receiver, man, that's not good. And how come Darius Slayton don't see the field? He probably will now. But is, is, could Slayton be any worse? Now, I don't know if Dable is holding a grudge or what it is at all. Um, but listen, you know, I, I, I'm just real quick, man. Shout out to the sponsors. You know, the football uh, this, this week is over. But obviously, the football is far from over. You know, we're just getting started as far as the football season goes. So let me just, uh, you know, I'm going to pay some bills real quick here, guys. So let me just bear with me for a second. You go to mybookie.ag, guys. You know football and you pick winners all the time. So why not get paid for them in my bookie? Bet single game spreads, money lines, parlay multiple together to increase your payouts, low contest entry fees, and over half a million to be won. Make it so you don't have to be a pro gambler to have fun. Getting started is easy. Just visit mybookie.ag. Links in the description. Use the promo code BADDOG on your first deposit to secure a double deposit bonus. So if you deposit 200, they'll give you 400 to play with. Just use promo code BADDOG, B-A-D-D-O-G, to get your first deposit match dollar for dollar all the way up to 1000 bucks. MyBookie is a proven sportsbook that makes it simple to bet and win. So make this your winning season exclusively in MyBookie. And while you're betting, make sure you check out Nick's ice cream because there is no better dessert than Nick's ice cream. You can bury your sorrows in a pint of Nick's ice cream. I didn't get to finish my Nick's ice cream during halftime tonight, so I'm going to go up and finish it at midnight. That's right. I still get the calories. I'm going to go eat my Nick's ice cream. They have cram bars, which are amazing. Pints of ice cream, definitely the best better for you ice cream out there without a doubt. Go to Nick's.com, check it out, or go to your local grocery store, get you a pint of Nick's ice cream. Man, I've had a lot of rave reviews. A lot of my subscribers have said they love this stuff. I swear by it, they eat it every night. No lie. It's my dessert every night. And I'm very regimented about my diet, but it fits because of the low calorie uh, that's in it. So shout out to Nick's, shout out to mybookie.ag, and shout out to you guys and girls for watching. I really do appreciate it. And again, you know, we're two and one. It's better than I thought we would be. And long ways to go this season. The Bears are winnable. If we're three and one after four games, man, I'm going to be happy. We can't have a letdown against Chicago. Dallas was a better team tonight. There is no question about it. Our wide receivers are absolute trash. There's no, and again, not Richie James, not David Sills. I'm talking about the top end wide receivers on this team are complete disappointments and letdowns. Completely, complete this. How, how are you, if you're Kenny Gotti, how are you going to talk all that shit about how you should be on the field and then play like a dog? Anyway, I'll talk about more tomorrow night on the live stream. Just my head hurts. The stress headache. I got to get, I just, yeah, I need some sleep. I, I do. So again, I appreciate you guys, girls watching. Thank you so much. It was a tough loss, but again, congratulations to Dallas. You guys are better than we were um, tonight. There is no question about that. You were the better team. And I thought the Giants had some cold. I thought we had some breaks, and you guys still uh, beat the breaks off of us. So congratulations to you, Giants fans. It's a terrible loss. We hate losing to Dallas. Hate it. Uh, but like I said, we, we come back, rebound. We'll see how the team's resolve is after a loss. We'll see how Brian Dable adjusts and Kafka and Wink. And, uh, you know, we got to stop Justin Fields and them legs. And um, we got to try to score some points against Chicago and go up and, and win a game three to one and put this one behind us and, and get better from it. That's what we got to do. So anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you made this for 14 and a half minutes, sorry, so long, hit the like, hit the subscribe, share it out. And we'll see you next time. It is the bad digging dizzle. I'm out. Peace.